Hey guys, so I had a little bit of a an eventful afternoon. I uh, I was driving to a friend's house, and I had uh, been smart about it. It was a little little bit of a long drive uh, through Bay Area daytime traffic. So I checked on Google Maps in advance and checked the live traffic feed and all that uh, to see what would be the best route and uh, I was going down a route that I, I don't normally take to get to this friend's house. I was going on Highway 237 West um, and uh, as it turns out traffic got bad there also. It's a three lane, uh, yeah, actually four lane freeway altogether with a temporary merge lane. I'm in the second to the rightmost lane things are getting down to the point where it's all you know basically almost stop and go and i see this homeless guy walking on the right hand uh, the right hand shoulder of the of the freeway and he's just walking along and he starts looking back i see him up ahead probably you know 100 feet 200 feet and as we get closer to him i, I see him looking back a little bit towards the, the traffic that's going by really, really slowly, and the traffic slows down enough, and he decides he's going to cross the freeway. <laughs> um, so he crosses in front of the first the first lane, and it, it was going slow enough that, you know, everybody's just coming to a stop and let him go, and he's waving at him and stuff. He's halfway out of his mind. He crosses the first lane, he crosses the second lane, crosses the third lane. The problem is that the last lane was a high occupancy vehicle lane, carpool lane, and that one was moving a lot faster than the lanes that we were in. Uh, so we were all stopped and basically the entire freeway now had come to a stop except for that lane. And he stopped at the edge of that last lane and then I saw him take a step forward and he stepped right out into the lane and all I was thinking is don't get hit don't get hit, don't get hit. And next thing I know, I see a blur out of the left left side of my eye. You know, something just comes by and I know it's a car. Turns out it was a minivan driving at like 40, 50 miles an hour. You know, leaving plenty of space, going safe for the flow of traffic in that lane, not doing anything wrong, 65 zone. Uh, and the, the guy, Finally, after stepping out into the road and committing to crossing that last lane, notices that there's this minivan coming at him, and I, I saw him lunge uh, to get across it. And just for that that little fraction of a second right there, I was, you know, was so many thoughts just going through my head. I was still hoping that he's not going to get hit, and you know, thinking, okay, he lunged enough, and I can I can hear the 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 brakes, the anti-lock brakes going on the on the minivan now, you know, that sh 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 real fast pulsating tire scrub on the ground and, and I'm like, okay, he's just barely gonna get by but damn, you know, how close but as it, as it turns out, he didn't make it um, I, I couldn't tell exactly what extremities that I saw flying through the air over, over this minivan but it looked like uh, an arm and a leg and another leg or something like that and you know, I heard the thump of when he got hit and you know, the, the minivan came to a stop uh, probably 20 feet later you know it was just full full on the brakes and I, I pull over in front of the in front of the minivan and I, I just figured you know what can I do I'm not a trained medical tech so I'm not gonna be of any use whatsoever at helping the guy out if if he's even you know helpable I uh, figured at the very least I could just help direct traffic around you know out of that lane because it happened in the lane uh, a minute later I'm, I'm sitting down there kneeling on the side of the on the side of the freeway there's practically no shoulder there and I'm with the guy uh, the homeless guy that got hit uh, his name was Sam <laughs> uh, he was banged up not too bad, not too bad, but he was banged up, you know, and just waiting, waiting for first responders to get there. I had already called the CHP and 
and the, the poor lady who was driving the, the minivan, uh, this Indian lady, uh, she was out and she was just completely just, you know, just shooken up, uh, which I can't imagine what it would be like. And she had her two kids, two sons with her in, in the minivan. And now she's got them out because she doesn't know, she doesn't know what to do. You know, she were just, we're just waiting. And she's got her two kids, and now traffic is ironically starting to speed up some more again. So now cars are buzzing right by us, and I'm trying to talk to to the to the dude who's laying there on the ground, trying to find out where he's hurt, if you know, if, if I can help him to move farther off, uh, farther t closer to the the divider. I'm trying to tell the the lady who was the driver to to get back in the car and to get her kids back into the car and it's more safe there and I'm trying to explain that because she doesn't get it and you know finally probably ten minutes later the first responders get there it's an EMT it's a an ambulance you know next thing you know I'm helping them put a neck brace on on uh, on Sam and then they start taking over but what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Nobody else stopped. The guy or woman, whoever, who was right there in that last lane of stopped traffic, who was sitting right, just right there with this guy walking in front, walking across, he stopped in front of this car and then walked out into the lane of traffic. The person is watching him and didn't stop, didn't even pull over. You know? I'm... All these other people are, are are going by on the freeway. There's this guy just laying there, you know, halfway in the road, hurt, bleeding. Nobody else stopped. You know? I mean, how, how cold have we gotten? How, how wrapped up in our own little worlds and the significance that we put into our tiny little tasks that we do you know we got to get to that to that meeting got to get to that whatever grocery store or something I had a place to go I stopped it's a fellow human being you know who needs obviously needs a hand nobody else stopped nobody else stopped that's sad